Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jolene Mujica. I am the head of Trends and Tours at Windowsware. Welcome to our Monday edition of Windowsware Live, where we take a look at some of our retail news for the week. So let's get started with a look at what's going on over at Dior. So Dior has opened up what they call their Dior Chez Moi pop-up boutique in New York City Soho uh, neighborhood. The uh, French luxury Maison Dior, of course, has announced that the opening of their new pop-up boutique is dedicated to the brand's Chez Moi collection um, and has opened in Manhattan Soho neighborhood. Um, this location is at 109 Green Street and the pop-up carries a range of different pieces from the collection, which is Dior's first ever capsule collection dedicated entirely to loungewear. The pop-up will remain open through March 19th. Now, designed by Dior's creative artistic director, that would be Maria Grazia Curi, the collection blends this refinement and ease in timeless pieces to be worn both at home and outdoors. Uh, this is according to Dior uh, in a press release. A special feature of the collection's pieces include the Zodiac motifs designed by Roman artist Pietro Rufo, who is a good friend of Maria Grazia Curis. And also this is a nod to the brand founder, Christian Dior himself, who always had a penchant for uh, superstition during his lifetime. So house codes being built into these new collections as well. Uh, the temporary store, the pop-up marks the first in a series of exclusive pop-ups and something they're calling pop-ins to open worldwide. Uh, at the end of last year, Dior set up a different kind of pop-up in Soho, which was dedicated to the men's artistic director, Kim Jones's premiere of his men's ski capsule collection. And last October, Dior's parent company, LVMH, reported a significant increase in their sales in the third quarter, which ended on September 30th of 2020. Um, and the company's organic revenue was down 7% for the quarter, marking a significant bounce back from the massive hit that Dior took in uh, Q2 as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. I should also note that this collection seems to be a direct reflection of uh, what we are all currently wearing uh, in through this new year. You know, loungewear and athleisure wear very much skyrocketed during the pandemic as people were working from home more often and staying at home, sheltering indoors, uh, which se seems to be, you know, the current state of things in the United States continuing into 2021. So people don't necessarily need, have a need for new suits or new dresses or high heels or dress shoes. So this is a very uh, a smart move for Dior to go ahead and branch out into the sort of leisure wear and lounge wear market that has exploded this past year. Let's move on over to take a look at what's going on with Gucci. So Gucci pins, uh, the newest collaboration between the North Face and Gucci is creating a whole new way of thinking. Uh, the North Face and Gucci opened their pop-ups in North America just two weeks ago on January 6, 2021 or I should say 11 days ago, uh, less than two weeks. Uh, the locations are from anywhere from the East Coast and the West Coast and hosted this very special capsule collection. Those cities include San Francisco, Los Angeles, Chicago, Brooklyn, Toronto. This takeover by the North Face and Gucci's collaboration designs um, and retail aesthetic have been met with a lot of uh, surprise and a, a lot of hype. People are really excited about this collaboration. Now, though the North Face and Gucci have two what seemingly separate customer bases, According to David Westone, the North Face uh, Design Manager of Global Collaborations, Archives, and Special Projects, claims that this project really opens the doors to exploration through fashion style and physical expedition. According to Westone, he says that the Gucci Pins short documentary, the goal is to expose people to the other set uh, from the other set to a new idea and a new way of thinking. Now, after almost a year of worldwide lockdowns, the Gucci Pins capsule campaign uh, draws customers to physical spaces safely, of course, to experience nature just outside of your doorstep and the feeling of finding something special along the way. The North Face and Gucci collaboration invigorated the retail business uh, where to where it was pre-pandemic era, right? Gucci has always been very keen on the temperature of fashion culture, and it has certainly capitalized on innovation in their retail sense. 
And inside of each pop-up location, the North Face and Gucci design consume, uh, consumes shoppers from the outside of the store. So logos, prints covered in the full facade of the North Face store in Brooklyn, for example. Inside the same, in addition to the capsule items, uh, they never stay in one place. Things are moved around frequently and shoppers hoarded items that they were they were likely to purchase and then hired and the hired Gucci staff relentlessly altered mannequins and tabletop displays as items were selling out throughout the day. So very, very popular pop up that uh, that took place and is currently uh, taking place. Now, this is, of course, inspired by the forces of nature. The structural concept of the stores conveys an indoor uh, and outdoor sort of trail. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So here we see this sort of uh, fortress, almost like an igloo. This is the facade of one of their spaces. And here we have uh, the interior that you can see. Now, as shoppers peruse within the store uh, with personal retail handlers, they're also encouraged to engage with the environment. A bespoke entertainment experience further immerses the sense in a path of adventure and memories. A QR code brings the sounds of nature's into the shopping space and an experience through 8D audio technology. The Gucci Pins experience is also dedicated uh, also has a dedicated Gucci Pokey Stop. And if you don't know what that is, uh, this is a partnership with augmented reality company uh, Niantic, which has featured the Gucci Pins campaign on its Pokemon Go app. So Pokemon Go became hugely popular, I would say about two to three summers ago, when it exploded as a sort of um, hybrid of real life and virtual uh, gaming. And a virtual space... Uh, attached to this Pokemon Go app, uh, promotes users to explore the outdoors. And the Gucci feature includes three digitally wearable items from the collection available to players who visit the Gucci Pokey Stops on the app. The stops include physical locations of Gucci pins, art walls, and select Gucci stores. The North Face and Gucci collection is currently available right now, uh, both in person and online, and in select Gucci stores and locations, it will become available mid-January. Let's take a look at what's going on over at Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton's pop-up store. Um, never have Louis Vuitton's menswear collections been so sort of in sync with youth culture and their sensibilities around it since the tenure of Virgil Abloh uh, stepping into the role of creative director for Louis Vuitton men's. In fact, uh, it's in full and constant swing and the latest manifestation of this new direction is the brand's new pop-up store at their home base in Paris, France. The temporary retail space anchors a series of men's fashion events throughout this month dubbed the Louis Vuitton Walk in the Park, which sees both physical and digital experiences all uh, conceived uh, by Virgil Abloh in order to connect with the brand's sizable fan base and leading up to their catwalk presentation and their runway presentation of the brand's autumn winter 2021 men's collection coming up soon for a winter fashion week. Now, situated on the Seine, uh, directly across from uh, several landmarks, the pop-up store itself is an infusion of color, which is oozing. It's very playful. It has highly te tech-savvy uh, focuses uh, from the creative director. Now, what's on offer? Let's take a look at the space. Here you can see just how color-focused it is and how bright and vibrant. So throughout the store, designs are color-coded uh, with the nuances of the rainbow, which is a nod to the set of uh, Virgil's debut show for Louis Vuitton, which was in the spring-summer of 2019, inspired by the Technicolor of The Wizard of Oz. And additionally, the premises features a hall, or the premises features a hall of fame, which is devoted to the five rarest and most exclusive editions of the trademark Louis Vuitton trainers, first introduced in that summer for that first collection in 2019, as well as a broader retrospective of the latest Louis Vuitton trainer upcycling uh, from the spring summer 2021 collection. It's available to purchase in five new collectible colorways and includes an exclusive Paris colorway 
issued in a total of 95 pairs. So very, very exclusive. And the LV Ollie sneaker from the spring 2021 collection will be on display in six colorways along with jewelry and sunglasses from that same collection. But this isn't all. Uh, the Cuban chains and the 1.1 millionaire sunglasses adapted to each collection are not only put on display, but they're also readily available for purchase. And meanwhile, at the Louis Vuitton Maison, situated a stone's throw away on uh, Palace Vendome, an augmented reality experience has been developed by Virgil Abloh for the Louis Vuitton app, which allows you to interact with Zoom interact in the platform Zoom with friends and its characters, right? So the pop-up store, this particular space will be open through January 31st. And here you can see great examples of all of that between the sneakers, the sunglasses, the accessories, all some of the most sought after pieces of the past couple seasons for the brand. And finally, uh, today is uh, Martin Luther King uh, Jr. Uh, day, right? Today is the day that we observe uh, in the United States. It is a federal holiday in which we observe the remembrance of uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and all of his contributions to the civil rights movement. Uh, what does that mean for retail, right? How have we taken that conversation into a retail context? Uh, just this past June, that conversation and very many old wounds were reopened, uh, you know, with the movement of the Black Lives Matter protests. So we saw a lot of retailers and brands taking a step back and really taking actionable steps to reevaluate their business practices, right? So on today, um, you know, from Nordstrom to many retailers around the world, they're honoring Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And while some stores remain open, others are closed because it is a federal holiday. Big box chains and small businesses across the gamut are all doing their part to celebrate this holiday through service and raising awareness for various social causes. So let's take a look at just a couple of the brands, uh, notable brands that are doing really putting their money where their mouth is when it comes to, um, you know, moving the civil rights movement forward. So at Nordstrom, for instance, they've doubled down on their commitment to diversity and inclusion. The Nordstrom has, has announced uh, that they are, it's charitable giving to nonprofit organizations that promote anti-racism, uh, bringing that total to approximately $1 million by the year 2025. In addition to this, Nordstrom also pledged $500 million in retail sales from Black and Latin uh, Latin owned businesses and representation of black and Latin populations will be increased by at least 50% and people managed roles in the mid and senior levels by 2025 for Nordstrom. So this is, uh, you know, a very lofty goal and something that they are actively working toward. They are not just using the BLM movement uh, to further their bottom line, right? They're really putting their money where their mouth is. And today, of all days, you can see that this past week, just alone on their social media, they've been featuring black owned businesses, black owned brands, uh, bloggers, influencers, people of color, bringing that conversation to the forefront. And Nordstrom also continues their partnership with civil rights organization, the National Urban League uh, for a day of service today. Meanwhile, over at Patagonia, uh, Patagonia has announced that it would be closing their locations uh, nationwide to observe uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Uh, they want to express their deep gratitude for the endurance and courage of Black leaders, activists, artists, visionaries, and voters who are advancing the movement and creating more than a just society. Patagonia is in your debt. We also know that this is urgent forever work and Patagonia is committed and accountable. This is according to one of their uh, Instagram posts as well. Uh, Patagonia, of course, is a brand that is always at the forefront of the conversation when it comes to sustainability. Uh, so it's nice to see them stepping up when it comes uh, to this subject matter as well. This is all uh, you know, a global crisis uh, that we are currently dealing with, whether it is the planet, climate change, whether it is the COVID-19 crisis or the crisis of racial injustice, Patagonia is always uh, willing to um, be leaders in this conversation. Over at uh, DTLR, they are honoring MLK Day through service 
community service oriented activations, which are hosted by the sneaker retailer across four major cities. In Detroit and Atlanta, there will be fresh produce giveaways and a community cleanup in Philadelphia and a coat drive in Chicago, uh, according to the uh, company's uh, statement. Uh, they also have been uh, taking the week on all of their social media channels to focus on Black artists and people of color in the limelight, whether it's Michelle Obama, whether it is um, performing artists, musicians, whatever that conversation is, really sort of uh, showcasing that this week, particularly in a, uh, a, a very... Uh, you know, a week where in which we are sort of being very retrospective, a week in which we are looking forward with the inauguration on Wednesday. Uh, it's a very poignant time. If ever these brands were going to make a statement, um, this is the perfect time to do so. Over at Kith, Kith, Kith stores remain open today, but they have launched a capsule collection with the MLK Junior Estate, where 100% of the proceeds will be donated. The line includes hoodies and sweatshirts featuring archival covers of The New Yorker, illustrated by uh, Diana Gita and Edward Sorrell that depict Dr. King. 50% will go to Martin Luther King Jr., or rather Martin Luther King III's organization, the Drum Major Institute Foundation, while the other 50% of the profit will be evenly distributed to the Youth Direct Action Fund, March for Our Lives, Do Something, and the Alliance for Youth Action. So uh, Kith even took it a step further and they created this really beautiful film that's available on their website in which uh, Marlon Beck, of Kith actually interviewed um, Martin Luther King Jr. the uh, third, that would be Martin Luther King Jr.'s uh, son on the work that is to be done in the social justice movement and the work that is still to be done and the conversation of retailers uh, in this space. Over at Extra Butter, they are also commemorating Dr. King's legacy by pausing their regularly scheduled social media programming with a watch and listen series. They have posted facts about civil rights activists throughout the day on all of their platforms. And this week, as we transition uh, out of this sort of dark four years that we had, uh, we must remember the importance of what Dr. King fought for, equality, inclusivity, opportunity, and peace. And in order to move forward with a more prosperous future in these United States, according to the company, they said, the recent events that took place in our capital make it clear that we still have work to do to squash ignorance and to squash hate. And now more than ever, it's important to educate and share our perspective and what we stand for as a company, right? Uh, Martin Luther King Jr. would have been 92 years old this month. So that does it for retail news. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what is happening with some of our Windows Wear members. As always, uh, please make sure if you are a member of Windows Wear that your profiles are up to date and that you are uploading your project so that you can be featured here. Let's take a look at what's going on over at Arsenal. So Arsenal New York has posted their holiday uh, for diesel campaign that they have worked on. Let's take a close up look. Fantastic work by Arsenal New York. Let's take a look and see what's going on at Visual City. So for Visual City, they have worked on their holiday window rollout as well over at Armani Exchange. Let's just take a look of that up close. And again, if you are a Windows Wear member, please remember to keep your profiles up to date and upload those projects so that you can be featured on Windows Wear Live. It's, this is also a great time for me to mention uh, the Windows Wear Awards. The Windows Wear Awards will be announced. The winners on February 1st, February 1st, the voting is live. You can currently go to windowswear.com forward slash awards to vote for your favorite brands in the Windows Wear Awards. Those winners will be announced February 1st. We will see you back here uh, next Monday. Have a fantastic afternoon, everyone.